Hello folks, and welcome to uh, our first real episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. It's L58, and uh, we're going to start the game. So, we start off the game with this person, Alazam, uh, a historian of this universe of Final Fantasy, um, explaining to us the Lion War. Um, basically, that's what the story is set around. These uh, two forces uh, uh, arguing over who the successor of the throne is, in that the the hero of the story is Delita. Um, that everyone knows the story this way. However, this historian wants to show us the real tr story, the true story, and I really love that idea when it comes to a story because. You know, they always say history is written by those who, who you know, won. Uh, you know, there's two sides to every story, or you know, maybe even more, and that this is one of those stories. Um, and we basically play as the real hero of the story that gets no recognition, and is kind of labeled, you know, a heretic or, um, you know. A, a traitor of the church. So I really, I really love that idea of things that's, in my opinion, very outside of the box and, and just I really appreciate stuff like that. I mean, you usually play as a thief or a rebel or something trying to stop an empire, but this just had a different feel to it. Um, so with, with that said, we get to basically name our character and, uh, the, his real name through the game is, is Ramza, uh, but I'm going to name him after me, so he'll be Zell. So I guess technically he's named after, you know, character from Final Fantasy VIII. So maybe I'll have to make make him a monk, just to be fair. Uh, we'll see. But uh, so you get to name your character, and then you get to choose their birth date. And as far as the birth date is concerned, that decides what sign you are. In my case, uh, my birthday is February 22nd, uh, so that makes me a Pisces, and that comes into play not not that big, but uh, it does it does slightly affect how your party plays depending on uh, what signs you play in the game and you know how many males versus females and all that. It has a very little effect, but still a cool idea. Um, since there are a lot of JRPGs out there, they ask for your blood type and your birthday and, you know, like, if you like chips or sushi, crap like that, um, and you don't really see that affect the game at all. Um, anyways, so we start the game for our, like, only cutscene in the entire game, which makes no sense at all. Um, you know, we're going through the countryside. Kind of reminds me of like Scotland or something like that, and then they they focus on these like five characters, and I don't know if they're supposed to be the uh, Ramza and uh, the, the party that he's with that are riding through. If so, why doesn't one of them look like Ramza, the Ramza, and or it could be uh, the people that we're about to fight. So I I don't really get it. It's kind of a cheesy cutscene. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. So, I'll shut up and let you listen to the music. This game has an amazing score. <coughs> yeah, it must be the Black Lion. So, who does that represent? I think it's our enemies. So, I think it's Delita and his team, but I could be wrong. Regardless. Uh... This game does have an amazing score, and I'll try to shut up sometimes so you can enjoy it, because I think that sounds a lot better than the sound of my voice.
just enjoying my beer here. You know, kicking back, playing some games, having a beer. Can't beat that. Here we go. The start of our story. Of course, we have to start at a monastery. As it sounds like the church does play a, a big part of the story. If you think about it, I, this is kind of reflective of I don't know, maybe like 16th century England. Uh, <clears throat> I, I suppose, I mean, you're going for like a medieval like feel. And okay, so we meet a princess that's preying on our sins. And we meet uh, Agrius um, and a priest. I believe that's Simon. And we get introduced to more people. Oh my god! We have a, a black knight. They always triumph. And of course, he's a little rude. And he won't kneel, of course. So, black knights, why would they kneel to, to royalty? They don't care. They just won't let anyone pass creeks, you know? They'll fight until they have no limbs. Okay, so, understanding the story, we have these mercenaries that are being hired by the royal family for protection. And the princess doesn't seem to really care that much about, you know, the rudeness of these mercenaries. Uh, but Agrius is. Uh, so, she has to be, you know, like the, the uh, you know, girl scout of the group. And we just get a whole bunch of different names and what is going on? Oh my god! Oh, and then, okay, so Zell, there I am, or Ramza. Uh, no longer a knight, I'm just a mercenary like you. Whoa there. Some crazy stuff must have happened at some point for you to, to swear off being a knight and become a mercenary. Either that or you needed some fast cash and you couldn't sell your body. So, we get thrown into the first battle of the game, and I I love a lot of things about this game, and I love the, the tutorial battle. Nowadays, you play a tactics game, or any game, and they run you through like a 30 minute, like, you know, a, a training course. And a lot of the stuff, in my opinion, is is second nature. Like, it'll just pick up a controller, and it'll just be like, okay, so this does that, that does this, okay, good, good, okay, let's go. And now there's, you know, like I said, 30 minutes of, you know, try moving forward. Okay, well, duh, like, you just press up. Maybe, I mean, it's not that obvious anymore, but, you know, this one, they just kind of throw you into it. They don't say, press this to go here, do this to do that, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, you're in battle, good luck, sink or swim. Now, they, they do make it a little easy because you can only control the main character and everyone else is AI controlled. Um, but, th this battle's hard to lose, but you could still lose it. It's like, I guess possible, I've never tried. I guess if you're attacking your own teammates. So, what is that, Gaffer Gorian? Gaffer, I don't I never know names. That's, that's a staple of me. He has Night Sword, which is awesome. It is a unique ability, um, and I really wish everyone could have it. <laughs> it's a, uh, you can use it pretty much on every living thing. The only thing that you don't want to use it on are undead things. And, uh, just checking out the abilities. You get them at random for these characters, because this battle really doesn't matter. It doesn't really mean anything. 
Um, and Zell is a squire in this, and he has the guts ability. So we have dash, throw stone, wish, and cheer up. Um, they're all, well, not all of them are crappy, but for the most part, these are pretty basic abilities. We have throw stone, um, and it's not going to do much damage. Uh, I'll break down things a little bit better later. But as you see, it does 9 damage. It's pathetic compared to a lot of other things and compared to these other characters. Nagrius has the Stratus Sword, and she's pretty awesome too. Um, both those characters, just like, dang it, I wish, wish I could be them. But uh, all, in, all in due time, all in due time. Um, so you have, like I said, you have Dash, which is just a, it's a basic, like, if you're right up next to a character, you can kind of hit them and push them, but it won't do much damage, and uh, your attack will most likely do more damage. Uh, and the only thing it's good for is if they're, if they are high enough and you're able to push them off, you could potentially do it with throw stone and dash. Uh, it would cause a little extra damage, but really those abilities, in my opinion, useless. Um, then you have Wish. Wish is pretty cool. It's a, it's a way to heal an ally, not yourself, but an ally. And like, let's say you do 20 HP uh, healing, you'll take 10 damage. So it's, it's a decent like first ability. Like you know, oh this guy's gonna die. We want to give him some help because this character has plenty. Um, and that was interesting. A rad who is always, you know, one of the playable, or not playable, one of the characters, he, uh, he had some, uh, he had the Paralyze ability, which is an Oracle ability, I'll get into that, I mean, insulting with all these things, oh my god, um, he normally, he normally has fire, um, it looks like Gaffriginian, Gaffrigon, uh, he has the fire ability, anyways. Um, then what was it? It was Cheer Up. Jeez, uh, what was Cheer Up? I believe that's either Cures You of Stats and Ailments, or maybe that's a uh, Speed No Yell. Um, the, the main character, Zell in this case, comes with some unique Squire abilities, uh, which I think are pretty awesome. Um, he has the Accumulate ability, which every Squire has, I'm sorry, that, that's not unique. But the Accumulate, which brings up your physical by one, um, which is pretty decent. But what really makes him awesome is he has this ability called the Yell, which uh, will up your speed by one. And that can really help out, and I'm going to exploit that ability hardcore. Uh, you'll see why it is so useful, especially with Accumulate. You just you throw up that speed, and then you know you can take so many turns before your enemy can, and before you know it, you know, you're you're godly, and you're just like ah, oh, little puppet, ha. Um, lots of cool uh, things I'm gonna show you in this game. A lot of tricks that I've learned, and uh, one that I'm not gonna show you how I did it, but. Uh, I do have a pretty cool save file of characters that you normally can't get because I'm smooth like that. Well, let's see if I can push this guy off with a dash. Let's see. Okay, so before I, I, I do an attack, you'll see that my character screen and the enemy's character screen will match up before I accept the attack. It will show how much damage I'm going to do and then the percentage of the chance that I have of actually hitting. Um, that will come into play uh, a lot in the game, and I mean, that's why it's so tactical, that's what makes this game so fun, is, you know, sometimes you just have to roll the dice and hope that your ability connects. Let's see here. First couple of fights, we won't really have the, the chance of selecting, you know, yeah, what uh, what type of party we have, or you know, what abilities they'll have. 
so I won't be able to build my roster just yet, so I still have a little time to, to be added to the roster if you still want to. Alright, so we finished the battle, and it looks like the princess is being kidnapped, or grabbed, or hugged, or I don't know. Okay, and by a knight. Oh, hey, should I listen to you? Because I'm kidnapping you, fool! Oh yeah, you punch her in the gut. What a knight. You wait, sir. <laughs> blame yourself or God. I blame myself. Oh. God. <laughs> okay. Alright, folks. Well, I have to finish this episode, but next episode... We'll find out more about who that character is. It looks like it was Delita. And uh, we'll learn more about that backstory. Till then, it's L58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate. Talk to you later. Bye.